let's get to work. Voguing, I'm voguing now. Voguing, I'm a fashionista. Vogue, Vogue, Vogue. Hit it. Work, twerk, work, 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 work dot com. Ooh. Welcome back to week four of, um... Turked? This is, um, Tucked, the official review show for the 2016 Miss Bio Work pageant. Sponsored by work.com. <laughs> now let's get to work. <laughs> this week I bring to you my lovely friend, partner in crime, and twin sister, Animosity. Ooh, hello everybody. Animosity, tell us a little bit about yourself. My name's Animosity. I was dubbed by the one, Luciana, who sings I like them. She could tell I was a wicked bitch from the moment she saw me, so she clocked me. I am a couture designer and I create beautiful gowns. That's my life, that's what I do. Make beautiful gowns, put them down the runway, I hire models, put this one down the runway. I mean, yeah, when I can. When I can book her, I will. We are excited to debut our new line of luxury highlighters. Man, Man on the moon. moon. Available on Etsy. Shameless Et plug. <laughs> Etsy.com slash locket couture. Shameless plug. Last week the ladies brought us talent. Anything goes. Which means they could do flips, tricks, whips, the whole tease. And they delivered. It was quite exhilarating and I creamed myself. This week the ladies are bringing to us dun, 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 Evening gowns Gowns of the evening Creative couture Sensuality in the darkness of the night Up first we have my lovely Gemini sister Gypsy, Gypsy Gemini, Gemini. Me Gypsy Gemini was serving Blanco Queen Realness in her feed me diamonds outfit. <laughs> she was like a Grecian goddess that had just descended down from Mount Olympus. I'm feeling the tea girl. It was like literal Grecian vibes to the max, giving me total flowy, sensual, all of the above. And she had some real pageant hair, you know, that was like up there. It was getting up to the gods, you know, some Boom. legit volume. Pageant. Boom. Pageantry. The beat is real. Real cunty. Real cunty. <laughs> real quant. Gypsy Gemini, you were giving us Feed Me Diamonds on Mount Olympus, and we're giving you two tongue pops. <laughs> Next up to bat, we got Miss Monroe Fitzgerald. Marilyn. Ooh. Serving up 1990s Cherry Mugler realness. Yes, God. Monroe Fitzgerald was walking through that goddamn hotel like she owned the building. It was like dynasty, and she was like, oh, hello, this is my hotel. You want to come steal it? You better fight me for it. I own oil. <laughs> Black gold. Black tar runs through my veins. I was getting the whole, she looked like royalty, she looked like, she looked like an heiress. No, she doesn't even look like an heiress. She looked like she has a bitch ass daughter who's about to inherit everything. Monroe Fitzgerald, you better watch your back if you got, you know, the way that you're dressing, you looking like you're going to have a daughter who's going to come cut you <laughs> for some inheritance money or something, girl. Girl, you better kill your own daughter before she steals all your money, because that's going to be... Messed up would you do that, okay? <laughs> Monroe Fitzgerald, you were serving Oil Tycoon Heiress Realness, and we're giving you two tongue pops. <laughs> Next, we have Teeny Davenport Phillips. What's with all you bitches in staircases, like, in your, what's with all you bitches in your nice staircases? I, I'm, I live under stairs. I'm lucky if I get to sleep under stairs at night. In the streets. And you got some in your house. 
all you girls got these staircases that painted white. <laughs> Teeny Davenport, you and fucking Gypsy Gemini live in the same house. I got your secret. I know your secret, okay? I figured it out. You two are sisters and you're gonna conspiracize the Windows pageant together. But I got you before you could do that. <laughs> Reversed it. And now I got you. So clocked. We clocked you. Teeny Davenport Phillips was giving me some cereal Lana Del Rey. Um, I was absolutely gagged by the volume on that beehive. Honey. Gag. You were serving me Princess Jasmine in a beauty pageant realness, so why don't you just take me on a magic carpet ride with you? Teeny Davenport Phillips, you were giving me enchanted aqua vibes, and I'm giving you two tongue pops. Next, we have Miss Cream Victoria. Queen Victoria was giving me salsa, she was giving me margarita, and she was giving me festive flounce, mama. Queen Victoria, you had an avant-garde silhouette that I haven't seen in a really long time, so I'm going to give you props for that. And I thought your whole look was kind of fun and flirty, with a little bit of a nod to these gothic Day of the Dead, Queen of the Roses kind of a look. Queen Victoria, your flounce was giving me fever, so I'm giving you two tongue pops. Next, we have Miss Kitty Morang. Stupid Cupid, you're a real mean guy. Kitty Morang was serving Galaxia Angel, take me to your leader. This holographic candy princess needs to teleport me to Mars. <laughs> She was, I mean, I thought she was giving me space age realness. She was giving me totally out of the world, and my name is Mercury Rising, so this totally fits right into my, like, right into my realm. She's not your typical Earth woman, if you get what I mean. We had this magical holographic fabric that was, like, all fluffy and floating <sighs> through the air. Voluminous. It was voluminous. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part of her look was definitely the holographic details along the bust line and hemline of the garment. Bam! Kitty Morang, I'm giving you two tongue pops. Swaggleville. Swags. Mm. We're more than halfway through with this week's looks. Next we have Miss Pioretta Victoria. Pioretta Victoria was giving me serious biohazardous waste, toxic green, gagatron. We were definitely, I mean, we're wearing the same outfit. <laughs> Your toxic couture was giving me a high fashion infection. <laughs> you were like a radioactive mermaid that just crawled out of the toxic ocean. Well, thank you, girl. I really appreciate the compliment. Not you, girl. <laughs> Pioretta Victory, I'm gagged by your Miss Bio hazardous waste material. And I'm giving you two tongue pops. Next up to bat, we have Miss Crimson Kitty. Wow. Crimson Kitty was giving me circus carnival realness. Again, this week, I'm gonna have to come for the wigs. I'm gonna, gonna have to, I'm gonna need that necklace for sure. We got all the ruffles, we got the friggin' headpiece, we got the flowers, we got pearls. Everything was like queen of carnival. Died. I died. I'm not living. Like, I was living so hard, I had a heart attack, and then I died. She's not alive anymore right now. Crimson Kitty. Your carnival realness gave me a cavity, so I'm giving you two tongue pops. Yes! Yes, God! Yes, ma'am! Work.com! <laughs>
Get your life on. Last but not least, we have Miss Maureen San Diego. Maureen San Diego, you better let go my ego. <laughs> you know, when I think of evening wear, I think of class. Maureen was giving me high fashion, model, glamour, realness. Do not look at me because I am too fabulous for you. Do not come for me because I cannot see you over this big hair. A little bit of Jessica Rabbit meets Kasha Dabrush. Jessica Rabbit went into outer space and she ate some space food and she came back to Earth. And this is what she's like now. She's Maureen San Diego. She serves high fashion glamour. Ugh. Maureen San Diego, we can tell from your videos you are hung. <laughs> I heard that Maureen San Diego was hung like a horse. A horse. I am a horse. I look like fucking Sarah Jessica Parker, dude. <laughs> you runway walk like a horse, like a Clydesdale. Maureen San Diego, I am still dead. I'm still dropped dead. So. From the grave, I give you two tongue pops. That wraps it up for this week. I have a cavity because I was eating what these ladies were serving. I gagged on all of your eleganza this week, ladies, and I just hope that you keep going and pursue your high fashion dreams. That's what drag is about. That's why they call it drag, was because your gown is supposed to go down to the floor and drag. Head to toe. H to T. My dream evening gown looks like something that wasn't stolen from the 99 cent store. Don't forget to follow me on all social media at rise underscore Merck. And please follow me on Instagram at DLockit. And don't forget to subscribe to work.com. Now let's get to work. Yeah.